Hi everyone, this is a review of HelloFresh. It is not in any way, shape or form sponsored. I just bought the meal kit just as anyone else would. And here's my honest opinion about it. To order, you just download their app, fill in your information and preferences, and then you can choose from a wide range of dishes every week. The vegetarian section is pretty big. For a standard week, there are about seven different vegetarian dishes to choose from, and obviously you have even more choices when it comes to dishes containing meat and fish. So these are the dishes I made during the week and what I thought of each of them. The first one is creamy tomato or soto. The taste and texture was fine and it was easy to prepare. What I liked the most was the portobello mushrooms. They were baked with balsamic vinegar and that gave them a really nice flavor. I think it's pretty great that they offer dishes made with plant-based cream. This one here is from Oatly. The second dish was Japanese vegetable meatballs with a noodle salad and sesame mayo. And this one was by far the best. The taste was great. It was super easy to prepare and I actually ended up making other variations of this dish based on this recipe later on. And the third dish was Indian halloumi butter masala. This tasted okay, but the halloumi butter sauce was a little too heavy and I didn't finish the meal. My husband, however, thought it was great. Okay, so from here, I am going to divide this review into pros and cons, and let's start with the pros. As I said, there are lots of different vegetarian dishes to choose from, and even more if you eat meat and fish. It's pretty easy. They deliver, you cook, you don't have to think about going shopping or making a meal plan. And this is obviously time consuming in a busy everyday life. Another great thing that I thought about was you avoid food waste because they only give you the ingredients that you need to make that exact dish. The recipes aren't complicated and the instructions are easy to understand and follow for anyone. And they don't require any unusual or exclusive kitchen equipment. Each recipe states how long it will approximately take to prepare which is nice. I timed myself preparing three dishes and the times fit fairly well if I work a little bit faster than I usually would. There's usually also a good chance to get a nice discount if you're a new customer or a returning customer. The food is okay. Overall, I'd say it's pretty standard. I felt inspired by one of the dishes and I've used that since in other recipes. But other than that, I don't think it was something, you know, like life changing or wildly inspiring. Um, it was just normal, semi tasty, good food. And if we're talking portion sizes, for me, it was fine, but my husband could definitely have eaten a little bit more. I will also say that if you, for a period of time, feel uninspired in the kitchen, Ordering a meal kit can actually be a great way to find new inspiration and start cooking from scratch again. And now I will be moving over to the cons. Since you only get the ingredients you need to make each dish, there's a lot of packaging involved here. A huge cardboard box, lots of paper bags, small plastic satchets for yogurt, condiments and spices. It's a lot and it'll quickly fill up your bin. You also still need to go shopping for breakfast options and lunch options. And especially if you have kids, you need to go and get all sorts of stuff, all kinds of snacks and stuff, you know? You can actually buy some of this from HelloFresh as well and get it delivered with your meal kit. But it is pretty expensive compared to just buying it yourself at the store. I actually find it a lot less complicated making a meal plan myself and just buying the groceries online that will still save me a trip to the supermarket and I can just order it from my home or while riding the train or something like that. If you don't like following recipes, meal kits are not for you. I realize that I actually hate following recipes because I think it makes my cooking a lot less intuitive and it also makes my cooking a lot less relaxed compared to if I were just cooking without a recipe. I will say that the biggest reason that I unsubscribed to HelloFresh is the cost. In the long run, it gets expensive because you don't get your discount anymore and the food itself just isn't tasty enough or high enough quality to justify that cost. At least not in my opinion, it would have to be something more extraordinary than this. And the last one, when I wanted to cancel my subscription, it was so difficult to find out how to do that um, from the app. 
that I just ended up pausing my subscription from June to August instead. You can go in and then four weeks in advance, you can pause like each week that you want to pause and then you can go in later again and then pause the next four weeks and so on. So that's what I ended up doing because I couldn't find the unsubscribe button. You know, I couldn't find it anywhere in the app. Then I found out that you can only cancel your HelloFresh subscription from a browser. You can't do it from the app at all. So I finally did that in August, but beware because they will try to trick you. I don't know how many times until you, you have to click like, no, cancel anyway, cancel anyway, cancel anyway, like a million times. It was really not a good experience. To me, it's usually a pretty big red flag when companies do this. It just makes a company seem untrustworthy because they really want you to forget to unsubscribe so they can take your money, of course. Um, but it just ruins the experience and that makes me not trust the company. Also, the fact that you can only cancel it from a web page, you can't do it from the app, that's just... To me, it's just not trustworthy at all. I think it's weird making people download and use their app, but not enabling a simple and pretty standard feature as unsubscription in the app. It's just super sketchy and it's not a good experience for customers. So can I recommend HelloFresh or not? Well, if you feel uninspired when it comes to cooking and making meal plans, then yes, for a time, it can be a good choice, especially with the discount you get in the beginning. But in the long run, no. I think it's too expensive for what it is and you can cook really tasty vegetarian dishes that are much cheaper yourself. So there you have it, my honest opinion about HelloFresh meal kits. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews, more hacks and lifestyle content, and I will have a new video for you again very soon.